Four of our legislators took a tour of a non traditional high school today. They saw firsthand how the program operates and what it needs to continue growing. Eyewitness News reporter Esme Cariega took that tour with them. Esme, what did you learn? You know, Todd, some of these kids work 40 hours a week and some even own their own businesses. Without some of these classes, they couldn't be, they, it would make it hard for them to actually get their education. Tyrell Bernard is giving legislators a tour of D93's Technical Careers High School. He'd like to see the program expand. We could get more buildings, more teachers. We can get more kids over here to help with the overcrowding issue. State Representative Wendy Horman sees the value of these programs and would also like to see them grow. We want to see those numbers grow for Idaho. We need to support these kind of schools and these budget requests. These classes exercise hands on teaching skills, skill sets that are high in demand that will one day pay off. They are still taught English, math, history, and science at the school. The common phrase, when will we use this in the real world? Well, this doesn't cross their minds because they know exactly how it applies. The measurements and precise uh, things to be able to know what you're doing because if you don't do it right, then you could possibly ruin a customer's project, a customer's car, not knowing your basic uh, Core classes. Vocabulary words that are taught in English are taken from their technical profession. This kind of learning experience works well for Caitlin Smith, who says she is looking into construction. Blueprints. We do. We are designing blueprints, residential blueprints right now, and we are doing. We are building lockers. Legislators from across the state of Idaho will be gathering in January to discuss a budget requests. A budget committee will spend about the first six weeks of the session in budget hearings where we'll listen to requests not only for this division but for many others and for every agency in the state and then we'll go through a, about another three to four weeks of budget setting where we'll take what we've learned in the hearings and then we'll actually go in and set the budgets. Horman says once they have the budget hearings they will take what they learned and set the budget. Reporting from the studio, I'm Esme Kiriega. That's good. Good program. Thanks, Esme. There are currently uh, 670 technical classes in Idaho. The Idaho Division of Technical Education says 94% of high school graduates found a job after graduation.